Libby and I are back out here checking, just surface checking some of these area that's too hard to dig because it's just clay and gravel. And yeah, came across this. I had to go get the camera. That's a first for me. Too many holes. I'm just looking on the surface. This area I generally avoid because it's just so packed, but I thought I would go for a high tone. And not very deep, just barely under the surface. I'm shocked to pull out a wheat scent sure what year there are some old houses right over, right there's one of them and there's the well right in front of me there so uh, that's where that's why there are some old marbles and things but I'll get a date off of that but boy is that the back of it looks beautiful awesome I hardly ever dig old corn I got my loop out folks 1914 hundred year old coin very happy I think it's just a 1914 plane, but I'll know more when I get home. It's worn smooth, it was in circulation for a while, but it's a beautiful coin and I'm so happy. In this area where I found that 100 year old wheat, got another high town, dug a couple memorials, but this one's a wheat, I saw it and that's why I got the camera. I'll get back with y'all. Well, this one is smooth, smooth, smooth. I can see the nut. It, uh, it may look, uh, I don't know, 19, I want to say 1910. I'll have to uh, get back with y'all when I get home. Try to take an eraser to it. Somebody had told me if you gently use an eraser, you can kind of maybe pull some of the little definition off of some of these real smooth ones. But boy, that's two wheats. A little wheat spill, I guess. Awesome. This is a little roundup for them later on. Olivia and I had we walked this road that's not paved you know, every few months because the rain washes things up. And uh, this is an old town in Texas, and um, this looks like a big, long, square spike of some sort. So that was an that was an awesome find. And uh, then part of the horseshoe, I know y'all find them all the time, but you know, this is the contextual, you know, the context of that is that's that's a horseshoe from a, you know, horse a long time ago, I would imagine, or at least a while back anyway. Um, and then I found a key also, just a surface find, so that was cool. A few of these other things, you know, railroad spikes, no big deal, but uh, I'm saving those things, gas cap, uh, razor blade, old razor shaver, 100 year old shotgun shell. I'm saving those things for uh, when I donate to the university to their sculpture class. Alright. Well here's the roundup. Uh, there's the five dollar bill. That was fun. I almost thought it was fake money. Uh, the two wheats 1914 for sure. The other one, possibly 1913D. It is a teen of some sort. Hard to make out that last number. So 100 and 101 years old coin. So that those were my. That's the best of it. A um, couple of other things. Got a cheetah bling broken pendant. This thing is the missing. It's the Pegasus pin. The flying horse missing that back leg. I like that. Uh, this is just a charm, not silver, but it fooled me for a minute. This uh, Sunbaker quarter, sure is a pretty color, uh, 1965, so almost, and a bling bracelet, little Super Bowl. And these things are from another site where I had found a 17, I think it was 1790 something coin last year. It's been raining a lot. I haven't gone in about six months, so I like to go. I don't know if this thing's old or if anybody knows what it is, but uh, it was interesting, so I picked it up. And then I, I like to pick up if there's little pieces of the old, thin. I mean, if I were an archaeologist, I'd probably know what that was. But uh, definitely 1700s type of um, dinnerware. So that, that was good to pick up. Good luck to everybody out there.
I'll get y'all some close-ups of some of the finds.